ganz so gern. The moment this loading screen finishes, we will have one new huge modification to um, behold. I'm not exactly sure if it actually works. It's brand new and it is supposed to help you Summon the elect accounts. train heroes for the future. Mm, yes. Q skill. Oh boy. Okay. I guess we need to is it time? Finish around first, I guess. Can we take Helmgard in one swift stroke? I command here. Unclear. We need to get the armor of the Emperor. And lightning strike it is, yes. Genevieve needs armor and it is time to cast your spells even faster. 25 minus percent cooldown. That, that, this? This is the big deal. And Lutorus replenishes and trains even more. Okay. I am Prince and Emperor. So the question is, can we take Helmgard Bring me to my men. by force? Hmm. The trees tell me much. Oh, we can already recruit Sigmar's sons. We should do that. We will ensure that these swordsmen merge. What? These two. So and this and Summon the we can count. disband I command and here. Oh, Sigmar's sons. Unbreakable. With more than double the arm. Sigmar's sons. Amongst the crusaders sent to reinforce Folkmar were Sigmar's sons. Veteran warriors and merciless killers to a man. Each of them had originally served in the Red Muskies, an 80-strong regiment that had fought alongside Falkmar less than a year ago against the Chaos Worshippers of the Norse. Whilst on a campaign against the many barbarian tribes, the Grand Theogonist had been so impressed by the Red Maskers repeated refusal to retreat in the face of the baying hordes that he gave them his official commendation, renaming them Sigmar's sons in honor of their heroic bravery. Since that day, it has been their tradition for each of their number to have the hammer of Sigmar tattooed upon his chest in recognition of Falkmar's accolade. Some of them go so far as to have their entire bodies tattooed with different scenes from Sigmar's life, believing that such dedication will lend them strength when they need it most in the heat of battle. Though Sigmar's sons boast that they are as skilled in battle as any knight of the Empire, and have proved it on more than one occasion, it is faith that is their most potent weapon against evil. When battle is joined, the righteous anger that seethes in their hearts drives them deep into enemy ranks, swords hacking and stabbing without pity. When Karl Franz sent for aid from Talabekland, the barracks that contained Sigmar's sons was the Kriegsmarschall's first port of call. There, he handpicked the best of their number to join the crusade, reasoning that Falkmar would need a cadre of men he could trust in the tumultuous days ahead. Oh my. And if we come. Oh, they excel at every available option except speed. I guess their armor is even better, so relatively their speed is also better. And they do have missile resistance. Ah, okay. I'm still not convinced of the Warhammer missile armor system. It 
also in comparison to Rome 2, it has changed. Rome 2 had a real armor system that differentiated where an arrow hit a unit and Warhammer just takes into account a numerical value and um, then the engine does some number crunching to in the end well either take hit points uh, well not so we cannot no we don't have 15 rounds yet hmm. we could try to take home guard calls. at least we can siege it even though our army is a little bit thinly now. spread we should probably first take Eilhard the empire Mm. I am Prince and Emperor. Yes, we Emperor. will go for encampment so we can replenish our troops even more. Okay, religious face units, infrastructure. Yes, we will need guard houses. Mm. Yes, we will do that. Impossible. They should not be able to destroy our garrison now. And. We need to build... We could recruit some dwarves. I like that. Our dwarven friends will also generate our income. But we don't have the money. I am Bring sorry, to my, my little dwarven friends. Not today. Welcome, my countrymen. I will not obey. <sighs> Boris Todbringer. Non aggressive pack, my ass. But what? Trade agreement. By Sigma's will, come in peace. Of course. The Nordlanders acknowledge On it. their emperor. Disagree with that? What? Why would you How grant me help the devout men of the empire? Military access, but not trade rights. It's ridiculous. Greetings, my countrymen. I guess none of them would want to trade with me. Kislev. I will not believe a word you say. That's yes, the defenders of humanity to the north, standing against the forces of darkness, will of course aid the emperor in his journey to earn money. Greetings from Sigma. And the expedition force wants a non-aggressive pact. This is also it, this is immersion breaking. Why? Would an expedition force of the Empire seek a non-aggressive pact with the Empire? It's an expedition force of the Empire. <laughs> Warhammer is polished, but it's not polished enough. I, I'm curious. We might, we might get a sort of romance mode for Warhammer 3. A little bit like uh, Three Kingdoms, at least that's what I hope. Because um, if that happens... We might get such a mode where the lore is taken heavily into account. Time of prosperity, the yes. Comet. Okay, so I we are going no to take Eilhard. We're not fight going to fight this battle. Yet. No, we can auto resolve this. Fight for our Summon the account. Bold, yes, the Emperor is bold. We will, of course, go for growth. We need to advance quickly. We need to build more troops and more powerful troops. And we need to upgrade Eilhard, even if we have not that much money. But we will, yes. Because of this, you can sustain a heavy army at the beginning. If you're going straight for lightning strike and you have a hero that has quartermaster, do it. Do it. And Genevieve will get some bloodline. And we will need items. Yes, we will need items for our heroes. F yes, dragon tooth, no. We don't have that yet. The warrior priest implores Sigmar to imbue him with a modicum of divine strength. And now his hammer glows bright with power. Okay. 
fighting against Greenscreen, Luthor has traveled the lengths and breadth of the Empire, preaching against corruption and rousing the faithful to seek the will of Holy Sigma. Strong Vigor and Bonus vs. Large against Greenskin, Skaven, Dark Elves, Beastmen, Warheads, Chaos and Norska. We haven't encountered them yet, that's stupid. But we will probably build some worship buildings. At least on level 3 in Altdorf. So fiery demagogities. Many priests suspected of corruption have been found slain by Luthor's feet, and the tales of such grisly act of righteous justice meted out by his hands has drove an archlector of the church to demand for his immediate excommunication. Oh boy. He hasn't been excommunicated yet. I command here. And I'm still unsure of the clay pit. Thing is, after seven, well, eight rounds, it already generates money. Mm, but we need more money for Oberstreich now. What we brings do you here? Now. He can wound assault a I, assaulting a unit is not helpful, and stealing technology is also not that helpful, we need the money, which basically means that Gustav Gandalf's son I am Prince and Emperor. is almost useless, but we will to my men. Summon the put him into counts. our army, I call thee maybe, of power. maybe the arm AI will be able to Harness his magics. He's not that bad. Especially with generating, replenishing. If the AI manages to replenish Franz in the midst of the enemy army, or use the dwellers below, causing severe damage, that would be a, that would be a start. And this is the end of the round. Okay, we have established a satisfactory trade network with our neighbors. What matters now is how we continue handling our trade markets. We do need money, but we do not need law factions. Income from trade. The problem is we don't have that many trade partners. We need to improve our diplomatic relations to get trade partners. So we are going to expand the network to ensure optimal diplomatic relations. House of the Second Wilhelm. Ambush in Reichwald Forest. Maybe somewhere around here. The trees loomed menacingly on the easer side of the road ray as Karl rode with his army. Though nowhere near as dangerous and foreboding as the Drakwald forest, the Reichwald was not without its threats. As an infant, he had nearly died in these woods. His father, Emperor Louis-Paul I, had been riding with the Reichsguard and his family when they had been set upon by an ambushing horde of beastmen. Though they fought bravely, the knights were overwhelmed as three titanic gorgons had ripped through them. Then the most unlikely of saviors had come to their aid. Azrai, wood elves, had emerged from the forest, evidently hunting down this party of beastmen and unleashed a torrent of arrows that sought with a foul mutants in short order. Without a word, the elves vanish as mysteriously as they had arrived. Such things may unnerve some, but gave hope to Karl Franz, for though evil lurked everywhere in this world, it was nice to know the Empire was not the only force to oppose it. And if I am correct, these elves probably dispatched from around here, from Laurelon Forest, this is also a problem because 
If Kalfrod's life as a child was saved by wood elves, we cannot. We cannot just invade and kill them. We do have to uphold some sort of morality, we are the Emperor after all. I command here. So we have to be strict in our policies, yes. Okay, so now the interesting part comes. Mm, there's still a little army. And there's four obey. troops. But we need to take Helmgard. I am Prince and, and we Emperor. need to take it now. I am not going to save and load whenever it could help us. Ah, yes. Here is one of those landmark buildings that modification has brought us. Some of you who might be familiar with some Warhammer fantasy lore will already know the Red Moon Inn. Such secrets that the innkeeper Franz Lona does not know probably aren't worth knowing to begin with. And this particular landmark building will allow us to create several unique heroes. Marcus Gruber, Kirillian, Victor Salzpahl, and Siena Fuegonazos. This could get it very interesting. But we don't have level 3 Burstreich yet. Mm, and we don't have any money for guard houses. Yes. So we are going to fight Helmgard. Sigma's teachings. Yeah, the problematic thing is now. Helmgard is a little buggy. Obviously it's not recognized as a siege fortress, but it of course is a siege fortress, which means that if we now attack Helmgard. The AI will not have siege equipment and will be slaughtered in very little time. So we have to outstarve them. I don't see on a, any other way. Ulrich's will. It's a little pity. Maybe we could have waited for those guys to get to their last city of Helmgard and then lightning the strike war. them. So, Men, this, this is rather course. interesting. The AI does not recognize siege battle, so it doesn't give us the option of building siege equipment. I actually like this because it's a mountain fortress. You should not be able to move a siege artillery towards a mountain fortress. But the problem is it does take into account on outer resolve obviously that this is a siege battle which means that our army which is huge will not be able to defeat those petty little men even though they have one army unit of great swords and a mortar attack into battle anyway we are going to encircle them see if they fight us on our terms now we just have to make sure that we have enough money to go around and we will build the field. Yes, we will build fields. We need more growth. And we will get a public order problem very soon. Which is troubling a little bit. Nothing we can do now for... No. Yes, fields it is. Thousand for fifty income. No, no fields it is. And Midland. Come then, only I'll sit. ignore that. The Empire. Welcome, Mike. Agreed. Ah. Well, at least one subject of the Empire has acknowledged the fact that he's a subject to his empire. Ridiculous. Nice. Now we have enough treasure. And we need a mortar. Norsken activity in the Sea of Claws increases almost daily. In order to prove his credentials, Karl Franz needs to respond, firstly by strengthening his forces. 
That does make sense. But we do need public order. This is troublesome indeed. We will... Yes, we will build a guardhouse. Guardhouses are very, very important. I will hear your petition, but make no promises to act on it. Now this is interesting. Heinrich Kemmler. A former wizard of the Empire. As far as I know, he was um, in Null. Now an undead warlord, seeking the extermination of all the living, wants a non-aggressive pact with the Empire. I'm not even sure if I should react in any way. This is, of course, obsolete. Why, why would the Empire go into a pact with the Vampire Counts? Certainly not. The only reason I could think of to justify that action would be if Archeon would stand a feet away from Altdorf and the armies of men would be focused too heavily on this frontier. And the southern colonies, yes, of course we will make a new aggressive pact. The Empire will protect all of you. Oh my. I'll ignore that. So, mm, problem is that I refuse. this dude will properly attack Isle Heart and we will lose it. No peace, just war. Men, we Raise must your attack. weapons. Of course, we could retreat from Helmgard, but we can't reach him, so that's stupid. We could... Ah, yes. Naval Empire Admirals. We will be able, in the modded campaign, to build both Kurt Elborg and naval troops, which means that we will have access to a horde mechanic. This is bloody awesome. Not likely. And we will try to protect Helmgard, yes. Even though we don't have the money. I can't do that now. Into battle! We need more trade agreements. By Sigma's will. Midland. Your no. emperor no. demands <laughs> Your emperor demands a trade Sigmund's agreement and you don't give a shit. Marienburg doesn't give a shit as well. I will not believe a word you say, but speak anyway. Ah. Ah, Elspeth. Oh. So, she surely wants something. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Oh, Steel and it doesn't give a shit. Approach and Ostland, make your not also not. We already tried what? that. And that doesn't make any sense. Okay. So we have earned ourselves a little bit of income. Problem is, mm, we could damage walls. Mm, we assault a unit. We don't need a unit. We need assault units, plural, so we can obliterate the fortress with an agent. Ah yes, we have like a half a dozen of landmark. How am I? How am I supposed to build that many landmarks? I mean, this game is obviously modded to eternal damnation. I'm not going to divulge into these building chains right now. We're going to do that when the appropriate time has come. Yes, our technology is almost finished. After we have developed this growth and public order, technology we need to go for the engineers guild this is extremely important because it will mm, advance our research rate by 25 percent so we will have to wait for 18 9 18 20 in, in 20 rounds 
Our technology rate will have increased by a big margin. Fight for our nation. Well, attack. No we can't lose Isle of. Let's no, go. This now. is not worth it. We will protect Eildorf, and we will try to destroy the Empire and Sessionists first. Yes. Goodbye. And they will all be executed. Sigma Bring me to my men. Us onward. No. Yes, very nice. So we can buy some more Quartermaster. And we can buy the Imperial Crown. Yes. Even though this is a little bit ridiculous, the mod should not give you the Imperial Crown, which grants you diplomatic relations at such an early time. Even though it could balance the game a little bit, if we take into account that the AI is basically just cheating non-stop. And of course we will give the Imperial Crown Q skills. Ah! Marvelous! So, this... This is the new mod that I told you about. We waited around, now it's activated. It allows you to queue skills. So we can say that Karl Franz is supposed to go for presents, then upgrade some of these troops, and then in the end go for stand for ground. And we will queue, we could queue those skills right here. And then he will automatically earn these skills or use them the moment he levels up so especially in mid and late game we will well have not so much to micromanage which is bloody awesome i like it she needs to scout more okay so this is a little bit difficult the problem is we're going for the anti-cheese action which means that the AI will just spam every spell they have. So we can't give them too many spells. We already have a pendulum and this is awesome, but in order to advance we need one more spell. No, no. We will go for Dread Knight, yes. Aspect of the Dread Knight. An invisible aura of horrors surrounds the wizard's allies. Only the bravest foes now stand before them. Yes, this is our way. And Lutor will become an even fiery demagogue. And he will go on to a bearded horse. <laughs> no, a bearded. With armor and iron. And Gustav Gandalfsson will awaken the wood. This is awesome. Life Bloom replenishes hit points of combatants. Self and allies in range. 150 uh, meters. A passive ability. This is awesome. If the AI isn't, mm, well, stupid. To a maximum degree, they should be able to work this out to some sort of positive nature. And we will go for no, no, we won't. We need to upgrade Altdorf and we need money to do that. So now our story has comet. finished once again. <laughs> I'm a little bit concerned. Um, I have not seen rarely. I've gotten uh, the Empire mods, which means that a lot of other races, factions have received many, many units. For example, the Lizardman now got a legendary Saurian, a ginormous titan of ancient dread Zorians and um, 
as far as I realize, the high elves on very high levels will have access to Amina. You know, the giant worm, the giant sea dragon protecting Althran. He will have probably around 40k health. And I have no idea how we should stop that beast if it approaches. Maybe with two dozen cannons, maybe not. Lamia has been conquered. A mighty tomb king occupied Lamia. The lead, what the new leader will do with the city is completely up to him. Okay. So I'm fine yes. with whatever we got. Men, and we must attack. We I'll will go that. for Helmgard now. I cannot. This is not particularly useful. No, this is not useful. Breaching the walls could become Who useful. Calls? Men, we will not I will fight with off. you. Now we could go for auto ba battle. The problem is the power balance is <laughs> It's not in our favor. Oh, this could work out. It couldn't. Oh, we went for the anti-cheese way. Cheesing would now be to try it and then load Ulrich's the will. game when we fail. Not going to do that. This is not a cheese game. This is the anti-cheese game. The Celestial College implores that I hear you. I remain unconvinced. Steelen wants a non-aggressive pact. Some moments ago, these subjects of the Empire openly, openly denied their Emperor. We should crush their resilience at once. There is a button up here. Yes, yes, one of these modifications will allow you to trade regions. For example, if you have two of three regions in a province and you have a standing of at least 50 positive relation to the particular faction holding the third city, you will be able to purchase this city. It will probably be extremely expensive, but in later stages, for example, if a rebellion would take away one city of yours, this could prove useful. Even though I remember that I also got a modification that forces the AI, if it takes one of your cities to give it back to you. For example, after a rebel army took a city and then the AI will just come and claim it, they will automatically give you the city back. Also, quality of life. No idea why Creative Assembly haven't uh, thought about that as of yet. Okay, so yes, we will go for an honor as of pack with Steeland. And we will now try to make trade agreements with those guys. My lord, the state council has made some proposals on how to spend the tax money and further develop the nation. The direction we will take is yours to decide. We don't have any problems with attrition. We need growth and construction, campaign movement. No, this is not helpful. We will build an empire. People of Skellin tribes lost everything they had and forced to migrate to Nordland. No one knows if they will be able to take a new piece of land for themselves, but everyone is sure that they will try. Oh my. Nordland seems to be in some sort of danger. 
we will of course now upgrade Altdorf. Oh my, already is Imperial Foot as Garrison. Now this is what I'm talking about. And now we can go for research rate. What we will do is try out the queuing skills. Select skills. Okay. So we want evasion. Then we want the pit of shadow shades. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we will go for impassioned, wild eyed, soothing. And we'll see how that goes. I'm not convinced yet. Uh, we'll see if this works. It does look awesome. And steel land shoe. This number changed. So we have to pay more. The more we grow, the more we... Well. Fine. As technology advances. I'm, I don't know. This is obviously linked to something. Wait, what, what was that? Ah, okay. This is just our money. We have 176 treasury. And Steelin will get to, see to a trade Empire. agreement. Let's yes. See. Yes, the Empire. Welcome, my country. Ostlin right. is also not inclined to Two trade. Tools. It is good to see fellows. Not in my name. Midland. Yeah, but yes. It is good to see fellow sons Still making of the me uncomfortable. Marineburg. Also doesn't want to trade with me. Champion. Do you wish the lady's favor? Luan Luan Kor. Military. You're giving us money. Yes. Yes, I like money. I think not. Okay, and no trade agreement. Well, doesn't look that bad. But I'm pretty sure an orc army will approach very soon. To make us feel very bad. Be at peace, for that is all I ever want. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. A defensive alliance and they give us money <laughs> because we are well the empire and they are just an expedition force and of course the expedition force would pay us for some treaties this is a little bit immersion i like it So, it's time to rethink our tax policy. No, it is not. We don't have money, we can't rethink it. And we cannot, we cannot spare any growth. Mm. <laughs> we need money, we cannot, no, we will not reconsider tax money. And there is still one... Uh, I. The problem is, if they somehow manage to recruit units in the darkness, they could now properly take Isleheart very easily. Ah, yes. So these modifications have obviously a lot of interconnections with the base game and other mods. Because the guardhouse is already giving us Reikland specific regional units. I like this. So we have Reikland crossbowmen, we have Reikland cross swordsmen, and Reikland cross pistoliers. No. Ancient American city of Maracas, new leader. Oh, I don't give a shit. We are the chosen of Sigma. Some undead Egypt kings will not. Welcome, my countrymen. Take away yes. 
By Sigma's will, our come right in peace. to rule. Boris. Sigma's will. Accepted what? Maybe still, maybe this is a diversion act. Maybe he is amassing an army. Trying to lure us into thinking that we are in control and then trying to crush us. Never! Ha! Of course, he doesn't want us to look into his his territory. He doesn't want us to give military access. This fits Boris Todbringer's profile very well. Well, we have right. more trade agreements. A weak order. Marinebox still doesn't like King us. Lewis. Welcome. How very well. Yes. The king. The protector of the lady. He knows that all of mankind must stay together. And we now have even more income. I like that very much. We have another landmark building, yes. In Eilhart. But we will not consider this until we have built a city level 3. The graphics are awesome. I haven't yet looked at the difference that much from vanilla no, graphics please, just war. and reshade campaign graphics. The migration comes to our borders. We will accept migration because we obviously need growth. Yes. The Council of States is an important group of advisors that grew from the demands of running the Empire day to day. There are far too many for one man or woman, woman to keep track of. Prominent family members or nobles of each state are frequently appointed as consultants on matters of imperial law, finance, diplomacy and military matters amongst other things. A seat on the council has become available and the states of Stirland and Wissenland have put forward candidates to fit in. It is certain that your endorsement of one of them will tip the balance one way or the other, informing the final decision. Problem is we cannot risk conflict with Wissenland at this point. I mean, I don't know if she already has a dragon. I don't have anything against dragons, so we have to endorse Wissenland because of their supreme force. Potentially. Into battle. Oh boy. Imminent rebel, yes. This is the stuff that happens if you do not care Never. for public order. Attack! The thing is, sometimes you have to ask yourself if this is a bug or a feature. And this one <clears throat> will go for more replenishment, yes. Ah, our first upgrade <clears throat> is possible. We could upgrade this unit if we are close to a city. To a spearman with shields. We don't need that now. What we need is not an open rebellion. We will go for a guardhouse in Eilhard now. Pretty sure that the rebel army. This looks awesome. Why is the ground burning? I like it nonetheless. It seems that we have some chaos corruption problem. Yeah, oh boy. Oh boy. We have like a titanic chaos corruption. I don't know why. We need to find out very soon. Not possible. Men, we must attack. And we need to take this city. Ulrich's will. But we Cannot go the cheesy way. This is not the way now. 
And I already see the rebel army in the background. I mean, I like the idea of... The Empire Secessionists almost have the same banner, except that the rebels have a cross on their head. Arch Lectors. The High Priest of the Cult of Sigmar is the Grand Theogenist, and beneath him are his Arch Lectors. Arch Lectors are grim, imposing figures, both on and off the battlefield. As the Emperor is believed to be a living incarnation of Sigmar, the Grand Theogenist and his Arch Lectors are all electors. That is, they may cast a vote to decide who shall be crowned the next ruler of the Empire, though they may not become Emperor themselves. In these dark times, where the curse of undeath and the worship of chaos infests the Empire, it is the duty of arch lectors to protect the populace and cast out such evils. They epitomized the warrior courage of Sigmar himself, leading from the front where they manifest the power of the gods and inspire whole armies to acts of heroism. Impossible. Okay. My lord, the people of Reichland are getting addicted to a mysterious beer in the slums. We don't know yet the ingredients and the side effects of the beverage, but scholars and doctors are warning us. The cult of Sigmar is also press pressuring us to destroy the taverns that are selling those beers and free the flock of Sigmar from that foul addiction. We don't have the money, obviously, so we can't leave it alone. Enemies have forever been on the doorstep of the Empire, my lord. An elector requires aid and would surely be thankful for it. But it may be costly to render assistance at this time. <laughs> Problem is, if we go to hire no mercenaries, I'm pretty sure that we will have to decide like two rounds later if Wissenland can openly confront us in a war. And uh, because at that point we won't have enough prestige. But this is a unique opportunity for us to get money. Because you will you will see what happens. We're going to hire the mercenary. Oh boy. Oh boy. This battle cannot be won. They have a mammoth. They have trolls. Red re regenerating trolls. We are still going to fight the battle, either way. Even though it might, I'm not convinced that we will be able to destroy them. Oh, we have, oh, we have walls. Okay. Okay, maybe. Maybe we will be able to destroy them. So, welcome to Tala Beckland. It looks promising, but as always in Total War, it looks promising. And then it gives you this chunk of land to play. And all of this is just for looks. Imagine if we could fight in this city. But we can't. Okay. So we can stop the battle. And the marauding Norsemen will try to claim Talabekland. And because we are in anti cheese territory, we will give our armies to the AI. Oh boy. And we Move will go for the unit. Oh, this is interesting. No, it is not. So, we will now watch this battle from the perspective of a particular Archlector. Ah, there you are. 
grasp and joy. for battle! Hmm. Obviously there is some action on those particular walls and our perspective is not granting us the action we need or want. Oh yes. So the Northmen have invaded, invaded the walls of Talabekland. They are obviously not very clever because this unit blob could just use all of these ladders. I'm still not convinced of the Warhammer siege. It's ridiculous, the gap between those two soldiers, but also it would be ridiculous if the entire unit would be on the wall in such a short time. The only viable solution would stop giving every unit ladders and making them build ladders like in Medieval 2. Where is the mammoth? Ah, there you are. So the mammoth is stuck in the wall. Okay. I would also like to know what is this? What is the purpose of this? There's a chain. Obviously you can pull it. But why would you pull a static piece of wood that is obviously no way to go down or up, expand or react in any way. This is useless. Do we have matriculations? Oh no, we don't. This is a pity. If this would be open at this and this and this and this and this we would have actual meticulations but we don't maybe maybe if all of you are going to tell creative assembly that we need meticulations we will get them eventually what I like is this artwork on the wall. Deus, a god. Deus Sigma, god Sigma. This, this is something that I like very much about the Warhammer. The particular details, the crosses and the skulls and the shields. This 
This is what the Empire is all about. Symbolism to crush the enemies. So it seems that the Empire has won this con- oh no there, oh boy. Okay. The AI isn't that stupid, because if you don't route these completely, they will return to the battlefield- yes, they will just do this. And then they will usually, usually take the flag, and you will be without, well, victory. Mammoth is not attacking this gate. Why is this Mammoth not attacking the gate? Well, it's obviously bugged. Well, in the year 2020, May, in a time when Warhammer 2 should be finished, um, being optimized, there are still some more or less game-breaking bugs. Well, we can speed this up. They will obviously not win. This is interesting. This isn't that stupid. Trying to shoot the enemies from afar, from inside. It usually works very well. This is quite clever, actually. I do need to admit that. I like that very much. I mean, shooting into your own people isn't that clever. But it seems that they are hitting some horsemen. But we are going to speed this up. Okay, so the AI has abandoned these posts because this is the only way to open the gates for the Norsemen. This is also ridiculous. Why is the AI programmed to run out? Why do your own gates open for routing enemy troops? This, that's ridiculous. Sometimes it's even bugging. So the enemy units that are besieging the gate will be able to go through and there is no reasonable way to stop units from routing. Well, nobody said that Warhammer is perfect. But we lost one... Why? Why did we lose one troop? I'm pretty sure our handgunners killed them. I'm still relatively surprised that the AI has chosen to use these handgunners very effectively and very cleverly to shoot down all these people on this wall. I wouldn't say that this is a close victory, but it is a victory nonetheless. This is also a very interesting mechanic. It's a little bit of a shame that this hasn't been optimized or perfected because you could um, just say that, for example, Wolfhard, the expedition force leader, if he should get into a dire, dark moment of death and destruction, that the Empire could send him reinforcements to, well, protect his last city, for example. There are so many ways, or the Wood Elves helping Althoran defending against Dark Elves. There are so many ways how this mechanic could work on a larger scale. What we need are mechanics, good mechanics, being optimized for the betterment of all users. And now, as I all told you, we can take 1,414 gold coins into our treasury, which will allow us to survive one more round 
nor to starve to out Helmgard. Men, we must attack. Raise your weapons into battle. Even though I'm still not sure if this is the best way to wait out this enemy. I'll ignore that. Well, we need to repair our dorf at once. The garrison in Altdorf will be more than capable of fending off these guys. Men, I will fight with you. So we can what? go for some more it trade is good to agreements. See agree with that. Sigmas by Sigmas will. Very well. Yes, more money is better. The merrier, the more. The more, the merrier. Well, this sums it up. We need money. We don't have any. We have a rebel army in front of Altdorf and the Emperor is trying to no cheese Helmgard down. Be at peace, for that is all I ever want. Mm, yes. This is very well. The Dragon Lady has made a non-aggressive pact with us. Not all electors are always self-serving. Oh boy. Some act with the best interests of their subjects at heart. A count has come to you with an offer of confederation for mutual benefit. Be wary that this will require quite some imperial authority to achieve. Well, it seems that Helmut Feuerbach has approached the Emperor with an offer of confederation. And whilst Talbotland is a research-rich great forest, and we need the Knights of the Blazing Sun to destroy the Orcs, this is not the time for confederation. We do not have the means or money to sustain another region. No, we will assert them the independence they need. And also we cannot, we cannot go minus two imperial authority. Or minus one if zero is taken into account. No. So the the rebels almost Sigma have a full princess. stack army because they are Ulrich's will Extraordinary. Fight for our nation. Well there is nothing we can do more. We will wait one more turn to take over Helmgard. We will see what no. these rebels will do. And we will try to the negotiate with Oslan. Oh will. yes. So almost the entire empire is now realizing that they are but subjects. And this sums up our third episode. It's heading a little bit close. Um, a slow pace. I like to take my time and especially because I want to in divulge into all those events and all these informations that the uh, over modding has brought us. This campaign will probably take some hours to complete. But if you like to go a little bit deeper into the Warhammer lore in a practical manner, visually, then this might be an opportunity for you. So stay tuned for more, stay healthy, we will get through, also through Corona, and have fun. <laughs>